hello everybody welcome to my channel mike works here is michael marks again so today bring you by grandma swai sali she is 68 years old Before she used to live at Takao and during the Pol Pot regime takeovers, they are the communist regime and she got so much suffering from the leader who lived in that village and took her to drop in the well and so she still remembers so she didn't like it too much depression and stress to live in her homeland, so she moved to live here in Kandal province, and the village is pretty in the Sa'ang. So Puwut and Putak got a chance to hear from the villagers, told him about her life. She got so poor and living in poverty life with her grandson, so all her daughters and her son got married just moving away and then when her husband still alive and he makes a living around to working as a labor job but uh, she can get a little bit looser stress and depressed from her living because her husband working and still support the family but after her husband died when her cat one years old and then after that she had to struggle in her life and fight with her life to raise all her the cat. And after the kid growing up and they moving at the bow her because it here no job available, they have to move out somewhere else to finding the job make their lives better. But it's not really better because the whole country is it poor. In the country, people who are doing the farm it really cheap because they could not make a living for uh, their life from the farm because they have to pay like a, a fertilizer, soy, and everything to protect their plant their tree to grow in barrels like uh, the spray for insect and the other thing else especially have no water and after they produce some their production from the farm after they sell it the wholesale that they couldn't make any money either that's why it get poor and poor if they make better money their life can be better so day by day people moving out to live at Thailand or they apply for the job at Korea. Especially a lot of people they move to Korea to get a better life to having a job. They didn't live there for the permanent just temporary to earn some money. I hope the United States can approve for this option too because in Cambodia they are also poor. I'm so sad. I'm I'm crying every day and hearting breaking every day so to see these people in this poor condition and starving and have no clothes to wear, no shelter and no medical care. They cannot afford to go to see the doctor. I hope in my wish and everybody can hear it, even the American government can hear it, they approve to this option and let the people come to the United States. It's not living in permanent, they're living in temporary to getting a job and send money back to Cambodia 
to support their families making a better life. Please everybody, when you see this sadness video, please share this video. I'm crying, I cannot talk much about it. Because in America, it's so much everything here, but if they allow them to come to the United States, at least stay for one year, and then they can have a job. And then they send the money to Cambodia, and then they can start their local business. It's a lot of help for them to change their life, to break into the poverty life generation by generation. It is twenty-five dollars in American. It's nothing. It's one dollar too. It's nothing. It one dollar in Cambodian money is four thousand real, and two fifty they can earn like ten thousand real a day. It's a making a difference if they allow them to working here. Yeah, they can send the money at least like a couple hundred or three hundred a month can change their lives a lot. If they have $300 to start their life, that can make their life be a different. Thank you very much, you guys, view my channel. Please share this video when you see it. There's so much emotional about how to feel we all the same human feeling and we all get suffering and we all feeling about the starving, no shelter, no clothes, no medical care, no doctor, no anything. If you would like to help, please again, please share this video and the other people who have a heart it can helping them a few dollars it make their lives a different if 10 people if you can donate for three dollars for each family gonna be thirty dollars a month it can help them to start their lives it's a better life and you guys can change in the world and thank you very much for your watching and your support and you will like you and we'll see you guys on the next video. Please stay tuned for the next video from Cambodia with my guys, Teamwork, Putak, and Puwat. And they're working so hard, they move to the next province to province. They're traveling with their old car round for 1999. And last week, the car broke down, like the key cannot start, and the oil pump broken down, and the other thing, the battery system electrical is screwing up. So they try to working hard, pay their own money, and to make the car running. But by now, they went to Battambang to help the other three poor family. It's so sad. Please stay tuned to watch the next video about the poverty lives of Cambodia. Cambodian is so much suffering from generation to generation to year to year because during the war everything just collapsed. The economy just going down and cost the poor spread all over the country. Again, please, when you see this video, please share, please share to helping us and to helping yourself and if you're having a heart Please help to support us by subscribing and don't forget to click notification bell to receive new video update from Cambodia. Thank you very much for your support and watching and you will like you. I am Michael Mark. Thank you very much again and then we'll see you guys on the next video. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.